so many people and so many Christians get conned into these empty arguments. The bottom line is, Paul says, let me just tell you, God's wrath is coming. Don't rationalize. Reject evil. So what are we supposed to do? Well, look at verse 7. Therefore, do not become their partners. In other words, don't, don't go around saying, oh, they're good people. We're just, you know, that's okay. No, Paul says don't become their partners. What are we supposed to do? Look at this, what he says in verse 8. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Remember a disciple, as I told you back in Ephesians 2, a disciple, an effective disciple remembers. An effective disciple remembers what it was like before they knew Christ and, and, and the darkness and the futility and the meaningless of life. And they realize that they have been saved by the blood of Christ and that their life is different and they are to be different. Paul says, walk, behave, conduct yourself as a person who's a child of the light. And, and here's what a child of light does look at verse 9 and 10 he says for the fruit the, the fruit of the light is this results in goodness righteousness and truth discerning what is pleasing to the Lord imitate Christ I mean look at the fruit of light righteousness truth goodness that's what you saw in Christ's life that was the fruit of his life that is to be the fruit of the life of a disciple Imitating Christ means that you discern between what is right and what is wrong. Obviously, sexual immorality, impurity, obscenity, dirty jokes, all those things are not right. They're not pleasing to the Lord. Paul says, use some sense here. Discern what is right. Look at what's pleasing to the Lord. Don't rationalize. Reject evil. Look at what else we're supposed to do. Verse 11. Don't participate in the fruitless works of darkness, but instead expose them. An effective disciple remembers that the works of darkness are ultimately fruitless. And, it, it, and if, you're, if you participate in those things, it's fruitless. So Paul says, don't do it. Here's my command. Don't do these things. Expose these things. Well, look at how, how do you carry out this command? Look at, look at the next part, verse 12. For it is shameful even to mention what is done by them in secret. Everything exposed by the light is made clear, for what makes everything clear is light. Therefore it is said, get up, sleeper, and rise up from the dead, and the Messiah will shine on you. Paul says, expose them. And, and I believe the context is believers. And the command here that Paul's quoting is, believers, wake up. Get up. Don't sit there and try to rationalize evil. So many times believers get lulled into sleep by thinking it's okay to rationalize evil. Paul says, listen, wake up. Listen, you can rationalize evil all you want to, but you're still going to face the consequences of it. Fruitless life, not producing fruit for your father. You're going to face the consequences of it. Consequences of discipline by God. Paul says, wake up. Don't sit there and sleep and think it's okay to rationalize this stuff. Wake up. Get up. Don't do this. If you truly love God, then mimic God. Imitate God. Get up out of your darkness and imitate God. Look at verse 15 through 17. Then pay careful attention then to how you walk, how you behave. Not as unwise people, but as wise. Making the most of the time because the days are evil. So don't be foolish, but understand what the, will, the Lord's will is. And don't get drunk with wine, which leads to reckless actions, but be filled with the Spirit. In those verses, look at the commands. Pay careful attention to how you conduct yourself, to how you behave. Command, don't be foolish. Command, understand what the will's, will of the Lord is. Let me just break it down into you. It's really not that hard. Imitate God. Be imitators of God. Don't rationalize. Reject evil. Look at how Jesus lived his life. Imitate the Christ life. It's not that hard. Portrait of a disciple is a person who walks in holiness, who chooses daily to reject evil, who chooses not to rationalize. 
My question to you this morning is, are you rationalizing evil or are you rejecting it? It's so easy to do. It's so easy to say, well, everybody else is doing it. Or it's so easy to look at role models instead of looking at Christ and saying, well, they're doing it. It must be okay because that's what my parents did. It must be okay because that's what so-and-so is doing. But the bottom line is to look at Christ and look what He did and imitate God. Be imitators of God. A disciple is a learner, a follower, a person who imitates Christ. And Paul loads this passage down with so many of these commands that you would think are just common sense, but I believe that the reason he's so forceful in his language is because as Christ followers, we want to rationalize all this. So don't rationalize, reject evil. Is there something in your life that you're rationalizing right now? Is there some evil in your life that you're rationalizing? Is there something that you're saying, oh, it's okay, and you're doing it? God says it's wrong. Let me ask you this morning to bow your heads and close your eyes.